In this overview, we are going to review the Line Listing app. The Line Listing app is a new app that replaces the line listing functionality that is available in the Event Reports app. In addition to replacing the existing line listing functionality in the Event Reports app, a number of new features have also been added to the Line Listing app. Let us start by reviewing the Line Listing interface. Inputs are separated into four tabs on the left side of the screen. Input, Program Dimensions, Your Dimensions, and Global Dimensions. This is quite different from Event Reports. In the Event Reports app, you would need to select the table style, then proceed to select your data, periods, organization units, and any other additional dimensions. Keep this in mind if you are transitioning from the Event Reports app to the Line Listing app. You will notice other changes to the interface in the Line Listing app, including a persistent layout at the top of the Line Listing app when compared to Event Reports. In the Line Listing app, the input can be selected either as Event or Enrollments. The Event Input Type allows you to see individual event data from an event program or within Tracker program stages. The Enrollment Input Type allows you to see data from multiple stages in a Tracker program. If you have selected Event as your input type, then for Tracker programs, you need to select the program followed by the program stage. This will retrieve all of the data elements and attributes associated with that particular stage. If you select Enrollment in the Input tab, then all of the data elements associated with the entire program will be available from the different stages within that program for the purpose of cross-stage selection of data elements. You are also able to access program attributes using both of these input types. In the example table we have open, you can see that our input is Event, the program is Malaria Case Notification, investigation and response, and the stage is diagnosis and treatment. You can change the program or stage via the available drop-down selectors in this tab. Next, we can review the Program Dimensions tab. In the Line Listing app, the core dimensions related to a tracker or an event program are present in the Program Dimensions tab. Within this tab, we select our inputs for our table, including where via the organization unit, when via the time dimensions, and what via the program data dimensions selectors. The organization unit menu is flexible, offering multiple ways of selecting organization units. This includes by user organization unit, by selecting organization units directly, and by using organization unit groups or levels. We could quickly change the organization unit by using this menu and it will filter the events within that organization unit. The event status filters are based on the event status. Active, completed, and scheduled. The program status filters are based on the program status. Active, complete, or cancelled. After the program status, we will be able to select from the time dimensions associated with our selected program. The enrollment, incident, event, and due dates associated with the program can be available depending on the input type we have selected. When the input type is selected as enrollment, you will only be able to select the enrollment date and incident date depending on your program's configuration. When the input type is selected as event, you can select from the enrollment, event, incident, and due dates. In the example here, we have the enrollment and event dates available as there is no incident and due date associated with the program and program stage combination we have selected. As an example, I can quickly modify the enrollment date to filter the events shown on screen. Next, we have the Program Data Dimensions section. 
where we can modify the data we want to select. In the Type drop-down selector, you can filter by various parameters. This includes all types, which shows everything related to the program, data elements, program attributes, program indicators, category, and category option group sets. These last two options only apply to programs that are using an attribute of some kind to disaggregate the program. You can also search for specific dimensions using the available search box. There are multiple ways to add data dimensions to the line list. They can be added by hovering over the dimension and selecting the plus icon, or by dragging and dropping a dimension straight to the layout area. To add a filter to a data element or attribute, select the dimension either before or after it has been added to your line list. We can filter out just females in this line list, for example, by selecting the sex dimension and filtering out female from the list. Next, we have the Your Dimensions tab. This includes the organization unit groups that you have created. Lastly, we have the Global Dimensions section where you can select the inputs for when the event or enrollment was last updated on, created by, and last updated by. If you want more space to review your line list, note that you can collapse the side and top menus as needed. You can collapse tabs by selecting them, hide items using the view menu, and select the expand visualization and hide panels icon. In this overview, we introduced the line listing app and went over how to alter some of its inputs. We look forward to hearing your comments on this app. If you are interested, note that we have several other videos demonstrating further features on using the line listing app. For any questions or feedback, please do not hesitate to contact us on the community of practice.